Hey guys, welcome to the 3D Find. My name is Saurav and today we are going to talk about some recent events that happened around the 3D printing world. So let's start. Researchers from China's Sichuan University, Belgium's Ghent University and the University of California, San Diego have developed a new method of 3D printing a human ear inside the body. The research team's newly developed digital light processing, that is DLP based technique, uses a near infrared light beam to enable non invasive in situ 3D bioprinting in human ear. This new method could allow doctors to repair human ears that have been damaged by multiple sporting injuries or accidents and open a new avenue of 3D printing research in non invasive medicine. Belgium based Welcome is a new startup trying to make metal 3D printing more affordable and convenient, reported 3dprint.com. The company is focused on aluminium and it has claimed that it can use scrap metal, even cans, as input for its products. The process that Welcome employs is said to go as follows First, the metal is melted, then the workplace is heated using plasma, and finally, metal is deposited. This procedure supposedly leads to less heat and energy expended compared to heating an entire chamber. Benwick, a specialist in polymer compounds, have developed a new PLA material range for 3D printing in order to support manufacturers during COVID-19 pandemic. The new biopolymer line of materials known as Plantura is suitable for compostable and durable use, developed using Benwick's material technology. And Plantura range also benefits from bacterial static properties, thus preventing bacterial proliferation. With the new PLA material range, the company intends to lend a hand to manufacturers producing products and healthcare solutions to help support medical procedures, hospitals and health structures, which has increasingly relied on decentralized nature of 3D printing. Researchers from the Shanghai Institute of Technology have 3D printed a tough and conductive polymer hydrogel CPH based on a double network to produce flexible VRL motion sensors. These sensors were tested and evaluated for their mechanical and electroconductive properties. The team found out that CPH in the study would make an excellent 3D printing material for a number of applications including soft robotics and even wound dressings. Research into 3D printable hydrogels have made a great stride in recent years. Just last month, researchers in Stuttgart 3D printed multi-material parts with multi-directional shiftness gradients using cellulose-based hydrogel. By developing a custom G-code incorporating the variation in stiffness throughout the material. An anesthesia team in Israel recently used 3D printing and virtual reality to produce an exact model of the airway of a 7-year-old girl as part of an operation to remove a section of her lung. Suffering from a bone and soft tissue cancer that has spread throughout her lung, the young girl required part of her right lung to be removed. In order to prepare properly for the operation, her doctors at the Tel Aviv Swarovski Medical Center leveraged a virtual reality program of her airway and lungs and also an exact 3D printed plastic model so they could practice beforehand. Well guys, that was all that is happening around the 3D printing world right now. Also, if you have liked the video, then please don't forget to subscribe. And if you want your object or design to be 3D printed, there is a link down in the description box. Please go and check it out. Thank you for watching and keep printing.